Hi there, it's Timmy Joe here back for another review today. And we'll just get this disclaimer out of the way. There's this website you can sign up for if you've got enough subscribers and they'll, uh, you know, you can get these sponsorship things where they send you a product, they pay a little bit of shells to review it. And that's what we're doing here today. Just get this out of the way, I was sent this product. I'm gonna give you an honest review of this here product. This is the Exul Link. I dropped the, oh, here's the box. Uh, it is a media center keyboard. It pairs very nicely with their Intel compute stick clone here that we'll be reviewing in another video. But uh, basically, if you have a computer in a room where you don't want a full mouse and keyboard, this does all intended functions and some more. So cue an intro. We're gonna talk all about the Azul Link and whether or not you should buy it. And I promise I will give you a fair and good conclusion. <sighs> So I've been using it in my bedroom here with uh, its compute stick partner for uh, some time now, about a week, and I have drawn some conclusions. I have experience in this department. I used to have a Zotac computer there. You can see that in a video up here. Um, and I've used this, the Lenovo, uh, what is the thing? N5902, uh, you actually couldn't buy these for a while and then I made a video about how Lenovo should make them again and then they started making them again. They actually made an upgrade to them too, where you can kind of use the uh, touchpad as a mouse. So that's pretty cool, but uh, this does things a whole different way. This uses uh, this little nub in here to work the mouse. Well, this actually has a fairly clever way. It uses the uh, Wiimote approach where it has accelerometers in it. There's no like IR sensor on top of the TV judging where things are. But uh, you can move the screen around. I can move the browser here with my wrist and uh, just takes, you know, uh, the middle there's the um, left mouse click. There's a right mouse click there. There's actually even super cool here, uh, a microphone built in. Get me pictures of Spider-Man. Oh, there we go. I want pictures of Spider-Man! So I said that right into the room. I held the microphone button and it makes it so you can, you know, in bed, you can say real soft, put on pornography and it'll bring the pornography up real easy. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it also does some learning from your original remotes. You can uh, program it to turn the television off. So, you know, and there we go. It's off. It's, uh, you can program, looks like uh, a few buttons in there. It goes into uh, IR mode there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, that it can learn your own remote so you don't only have this thing if you know you don't have any like a satellite or anything hooked up to it or a cable box. Uh, the keyboard on it is its sort of downfall. I won't take too many points off because that Lenovo remote I've talked so highly of is not any better for typing on. It's gummy, it's mushy. Sometimes I'm concerned, uh, you know, I think I'm typing something and it actually turns out I missed like three of the letters. I gotta say, it, all these little keyboards do that. I don't know what it is. A Blackberry keyboard can get it right, but if I type in uh, Timmy, Joe, without looking, uh, I put a W instead of an E, but it actually typed out all the words, or the letters. Oh, there I am. Yeah, it's Timmy Joe. But um, it, it could be a little bit better for the like hit detection on these buttons, but it's, it's not terrible. Uh, it has every like button built in. There's a print screen, there's all your F keys. You have to press like symbol or uh, shift to get those other keys, but they're all there at least. So it's got a fully functional keyboard. I gotta say, this thing's actually pretty good. It takes some batteries in, the, in here, but uh, all in all, you can bring up the on-screen keyboard. It has a, uh, looks like a macro just to bring up the uh, run command for it, which works out pretty good. But uh, I have to say it's fairly accurate. It works very well. Um, if there was a bad thing to say about it, I would say it. But uh, the worst part about it is the keyboard is kind of gummy, but you can't expect much out of uh, you know these little remotes. Even the Lenovo version I love so much, the keyboard's not very good. But 
one thing this does beat the Lenovo one is price. I'm pretty sure that Lenovo remote, it goes for at least 60 bucks, or at least it used to. Maybe you can find it cheaper. But this thing on Amazon retails for like $29.99-ish. Uh, you know, the difference between American and Canadian, I might be a little bit off. I'll put it up on the screen here, but it's very inexpensive for all the functionality. That Lenovo doesn't have the IR built-in thing. The Lenovo doesn't have a built-in microphone. This has a built-in um, illumination on either side too. There's a button on the side here you press. It makes the keyboard light up blue and it knows if this is facing up, that'll light up blue. It's pretty cool. Uh, so all in all, I, I don't have much bad to say about it and you know, I, I give them hats off to them for making a good media center remote. I've definitely bought my fair share of these on Amazon for cheap and they did not work anywhere near as good, especially the ones with like a laptop style trackpad. I, I sent those back every time. They did not work very well. You can ask Timmy Joe on at watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter or in the comments below if you have any questions about this remote or anything in general. I gotta thank you guys very much for watching my channel. Uh, thanks for renaming my computer. I'll be coming up with some sort of uh, prize or something for the, the name I choose in the next video about that computer. There'll be loads of other computer stuff later this week as well as a review of that little Cherry Trail compute stick because uh, I want to see if I can't play some Steam games on it. But I'm Timmy Joe at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks very much for watching. <gasps> Bye.